just one day after the deadliest attack on the western city of Lviv, Ukraine, since the start of the war, the U.S. is making a new move to better supply Ukraine to take on the Russians. Two U.S. officials tell ABC News the Pentagon will provide cluster munitions despite human rights concerns. Cluster bombs have gained a reputation for killing and injuring civilians, especially children who come across the smaller explosives or bomblets that fail to initially detonate after being dropped. Many U.S. allies have signed a treaty banning their use. We would be carefully selecting rounds with lower dud rates. I would note uh, that the Russians have already been employing uh, cluster munitions on the battlefield. Meanwhile, new tensions between the U.S. and Russia. For the second consecutive day, Russian jets harassed an American drone over Syria, releasing flares in its flight path. Moscow claims the U.S. was violating protocols. To suggest that somehow... Um, you know, th this is our fault. Um, it's ridiculous. And inside Russia, a growing mystery concerning the whereabouts of Yevgeny Prigozhin, the man who led a failed uprising against Vladimir Putin. He was supposed to be exiled to Belarus, but that country's president now says Prigozhin is still in Russia. Russian state media says authorities have raided Prigozhin's home, releasing these images of the indoor pool, gold bars, cash, and a stash of wigs that were allegedly found in the home. And Prigozhin has not been seen in public since the end of that uprising last month. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.